weekend. And so they go out and they need to feed their child and they don't have money. So you maybe have to, you're, they're put in a position where they feel like they either need to shoplift some bread or go hungry that night. A few years later. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody. Everybody must eat. Yes. Everybody must eat. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Rest well, Eddie. Rest well, Eddie. Uh oh, look, here come more people. Let's go. Let's go. Niggas going crazy. Come on, boy. Hey. 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 under arrest. Philadelphia police scrambling through the night as crimes continued across the city. The chaos reached all across Philadelphia too. Looters ransacking Center City stores first, then police headed to Port Richmond and Northeast Philadelphia as caravans of kids and teens moved fast from location to location. Here's what we've learned overnight. At least 20 people are under arrest. Two guns were recovered. At least one police car was damaged and there are no reports of injuries. NBC 10's Randy Gyllenhaal live in Center City near one of the business looted. Uh, Randy, police say the looters were taking advantage of a peaceful protest involving the deadly shooting of Eddie Irizarry. 
Yeah, police calling these looters criminal opportunists who uh, went out after this peaceful protest had ended, hitting stores like the Lululemon. This is in Rittenhouse Square. It was a busy night. Witnesses report seeing 100 or more teens, young people, even some children ransacking stores. You can see here at the Lululemon merchandise scattered all over the floor, the store torn apart. Police calling this wild group, saying they used a nearby protest as cover to cause chaos. Center City, Philadelphia, multiple stores looted, including the Apple Store, roving groups of thieves stealing electronics. Police described caravans of young people driving to stores all over the city. Criminal opportunists who took advantage of the large protests last night and the decision by a judge to drop all charges in the police killing of Eddie Irizarry. But authorities say the looting was not related to the protest. That had already ended, and it was disrespectful to the family. And so far, police say they've made at least 20 20 arrests recovering two firearms amid the looting. And I just wanted to reiterate that this had nothing to do with the protests. What we had tonight was a bunch of criminal opportunists take advantage of a situation and make an attempt to destroy our city. It's disrespectful to their Zeri family and what they're going through right now, and they were at the protests earlier. NBC 10 found even more looting in Northeast Philly, Port Richmond along Aramingo, and near the Roosevelt Mall. You may recall many of these locations were also hit by looters during the unrest and riots in 2020. Let's take a live look now from Sky Force 10 in Northeast Philadelphia over a target that was hit by looters. The cleanup will begin today. Police were on scene at least overnight doing some investigations at that target as well. Authorities believe social media chatter might have contributed to this. Uh, some of the looters even live streaming during the criminal activity, using that peaceful protest as an excuse to hit these stores. As for the extent of the damage, it does not appear as widespread as the riots during 2020, but the cost still unknown. A number of businesses hit in, a, in multiple neighborhoods from northeast to north, center city and west Philadelphia. Police say they'll also use surveillance video to try to track down even more of these suspects. For now, we're live. These are cattails. Every time these police kill our people, they have these overfed, Come on. racist, rotten politicians get on the TV and say, well, we don't mind their protests, but we want them to protest peacefully. But they never say, when you go arrest a criminal, make sure you arrest them peacefully. When you want to knock on the windows of these people that you think might be a criminal, make sure you do it peacefully. Then they shoot our brothers and sisters down in the street and they never talk about peacefully. And we tired of it. Come on. And we so past our boiling point. How many more names are we going to add to this list of people? who have been murdered at the hands of the Philadelphia police before we say enough is enough. All right, we're going to talk about this, uh, the video of the shooting itself, and um, let's see if we can analyze it. Okay, so to put this kind of in perspective, um, this Eddie, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, Larizzi, Rizari, Rizari. Um, I apologize if I'm pronouncing his, his last name wrong. But, he is going down a one way, the wrong way, okay? So he's going down uh, the street the wrong way, on a one way street. And the police, there's two police officers that come to, to pull him over. Okay. So this happens really, really fast. 
I mean, you see the police officer. He he jumps out of his vehicle. And, I mean, here's the front of the car. So he's like, show me your hands, show me your hands. I'm not seeing tinted window, windows on it. See, he's telling him to show him his hands. He's standing right here. He's looking clearly at him. Now, he thinks he sees a gun. The police officer does. That's a tiny little car and this and this. So apparently the knife was on the, the seat, I believe, the passenger seat or something. But the windows of the vehicle are up. So, and look, in these situations with the police officer, is that I, they never know what they're going to walk, walk into. Okay? I mean, I am not condoning police officer shoot i'm sure they would want to avoid this situation at all costs so i don't know what's going through this police officer's head but apparently obviously it's looking like his adrenaline's just spiked and you know and it's happening so fast he thinks he sees something you know maybe in his main maybe in his brain he thought he did i i don't know i i can't i can't you know you can't uh, speculate. I mean, we can speculate all day long, I guess. I guess we can't. We are speculating. That's what we're doing, analyzing this. But for him to just, to boom. I mean, I mean, the guy the guy is dead. The guy is dead. I mean, look how quick this was. How many seconds is that? I mean, that's... So he's right here. He's looking in. But, you know, there's also a blind spot here. I mean, did the guy move his hands around? It's a tragedy. It is a tragedy. It's probably a nightmare. Obviously, it's a nightmare for his family. Uh, the family for the, the victim and for the, the police officer. The thing is... Is that what do you do? You get pulled over. Should you be just rolling your window down as he comes up and then your hands be on the steering wheel? I mean, in light of this, everyone across this great nation is if you get pulled over, get that window down to get your hands up on that steering wheel as quick as possible. If he's going to, if a cop's going to get around and come, come around the car. Now, I don't, I, I don't know. If they were just chasing him down, there's more. There's probably maybe more to this. I, I don't know. I haven't seen anything more to it. But I mean, he just jumps out and immediately. He's got his he's got his gun out. I mean, why? Why? Why would he already have it out immediately? I mean, he could have been leaning over getting his registration. I don't know. Let's see. Let's back up a little bit. Let's back up a little bit. Look, he's already got his gun out. Back up some more. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's pulling his gun out right here around the corner of this truck. He was already reaching in, grab, grabbing his pistol. Boom. <clears throat> Again, I don't know why he felt like he had to have his gun out right then and there of, of this this guy. I, I'm 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 gonna have to dig some more and see what's going on with the even with the trial they just had, which we know we've seen the videos that you just saw the beginning of this video of uh, all the rioting and looting because of um, him being found uh, not guilty, right? He's been found not guilty, and they just, uh, 
they did have a peaceful, well, you saw some of them had a peaceful um, rally, protest rather, protest on, on this, and then all the looting going on um, because of this verdict. We've seen this. We've seen this over and over and over again with uh, they, you know, some of the community feels like it was an unjustified shooting. Maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, the courts did find him not guilty. Do we, can we be upset about it? Can some people like, wow, that, you know, the cops are just singling out people. Yeah, you can think that, but to, to just riot and loot um in the streets and just destroy your own businesses in in your in your community is i just don't understand it why do you want to do that why do you want to destroy your own community the, a lot of these businesses especially in like uh what san francisco and other places they're they just closing up shop because of because of the um uh all the theft and stuff going on in the homeless the homelessness now this one here let's see look at this nationwide retail thefts have as you can see in 2022 they reached 112 billion we're uh, three quarters of the way through 2023 you've got to figure that number is bigger particularly after scenes like what we saw that started last i mean that's just not from the rioters that's from theft all the time it's billions of dollars and the cost just goes on to the rest of us so if people are really upset about something going and stealing is not the answer it's just not it's just not the answer new here in new york you see so many businesses that are closed it really makes you sad you pass by restaurants that have closed didn't survive and now it's the crime even targets closing what is it nine different stores brian yeah. right so you have target wow. closing nine different stores including one right out here in new york city the one in Harlem. And, yeah, yeah and people want to say well it has a lot to do with people ordering online yeah not really uh it is uh, these are smash and grabs. Uh, these are shoplifting. This is lack of enforcement. This is the inability for your own private security that you hire out of your pocket uh, to do actually do their job because they're going to get hit. So CVS has closed 10% uh, of their stores, 900. Then you got these. Uh, 900. The, yeah. Then you have the uh, Target stores closed in these major cities. And, and this, this, this affects the workers, right? People, every, you know, all these people that work in, in these places. Right. It's it's affecting it's affecting them. Protecting the stores. Why am I staying open? I don't need this. And you and you continue to look the other wow. way. The question is, as we Can saw that Dallas mayor flip on? parties yep. uh, and say, listen, I'm going to be a, a Republican. How many how much more are the retailers, the citizens that work for a living in working class communities going to take before they stand up and speak out? Here's what Target said before making this decision of closing okay. stores. We invested heavily in strategies to prevent and stop theft and organize retail crime in our stores. Keep in mind, people are benefiting from this. These seem so organized, That's right. such as adding more security team members, using third party guard services. This comes out of the budget and yeah, implementing theft deterrent tools across our business despite our efforts. Unfortunately, we continue to face fundamental challenges operating these stores safely and successfully and think about this if you have a target in your neighborhood and it's close and walkable uh then you have everything we can't around about target has well i i wanted to bring some attention to this um this has all been happening the last day or two um it's a tragedy all the way around it's unfortunate that uh you have to result to violence and all the the looting and they were throwing the cell phones on the ground and busting them. Free iPhones! Free iPhones! Free iPhones! Free iPhones. Free iPhones. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, security running! Oh, shit, what's up? They're coming out. Yeah, Max! Yo, listen. Max! They got them all in their hands. Now your son doing fine. You can shut it uh, now. Keep your feet up. I'm out to rub and me some were, good now. Were, um, Yo, what's that sound? What's that sound? Why? What's that sound? That's the shoe probably was. Oh shoot! Everybody throwing free iPhones. Let me see the iPhone. Oh my God! What's that? Oh my God! 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 O
Oh my god! Oh my god! So they go in there, they they smash and grab, and then come out and smash again. So it's smash, grab, smash. I I don't know. Is that just a the protest? If they're calling it protesting, then why aren't they saying we're doing this in the name of Eddie? No, they're just like, oh my gosh, well, she is. Well, it's happening, it's happening. We're we're doing all of this. We're doing all of this. Look at this. Free phones. We're doing it's <sighs> Wow. That is it's just uh it's just kind of mind boggling. Break it! This is they break it, bro. Just, oh, this is crazy! Yeah, oh my god, this is phone. crazy! Ain't nothing! Ain't nothing. Oh my god, all these iPhones! And they still going on! Oh my god! Put that shit in the sewer! Put that shit in the sewer! Oh my god! Oh my god. 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 Well... I wanted to do a compilation video of this. Uh, and I went a little bit over the... The police shooting. Which... It's a tragedy all the way around. Okay, we all we all know this, but I mean we've all seen videos. I've seen a video. I should have grabbed one. Uh, and y'all have probably seen them where a cop on a freeway, he's got his dash cam. He gets out of the car. He pulls somebody over. He gets out of the car. He goes and and somebody just shoots him and takes off. I mean this happens. Maybe they're all living in a. Police officers are in. Maybe an automatic state of fear. I don't know, right? But it, I'm not. Tr I'm not justifying him shooting this man. This is terrible. It's a terrible thing all the way around. And his life, the police officer's life, is is torn upside down. And we all know that there's always this narrative that this absolutely fits the narrative of the media. I mean, if a cop shot shot a white man, woman, whatever the case may be, we're not, we probably won't even hardly hear about it. And that's, you know, it's a shame. Why does, all lives matter, by the way, all lives matter. And we do need to hold police accountable. I want to make that clear. We all need to be accountable. Citizens are accountable for their actions. Police need to be accountable and conduct themselves professionally and, you know, in a, in a manner that's respectful to the city and the citizens. But we do have to keep in mind, we do need police officers. If we didn't have law and order, there'd be chaos, right? There would be chaos. We, we, we have to have. We have to have it. There's no way getting around it. We need to be safe, right? If you're in trouble and you need, you need to call the police and you want them to come and, and, and bail you out, get you out of the situation or whatever it is you're in, <laughs> that's something that we, we, we absolutely have to have. There's good apples and bad apples everywhere. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, this is a tragedy all the way around. This is a sad state of affairs, for especially for Philadelphia. I mean, their downtown area, city, uh, inner city area there has just been ransacked for for only an opportunist reason for... Uh, a small group of people. I mean, they had a pretty good protest. There, you know, we saw some footage there in, earlier in the video where there was a good amount of people. But then you had this one group, smaller group, that, that went and did all this destruction. I, I, uh, I have to believe, and I do believe, that the majority of, of people want a peaceful protest. And, you know, and that's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. Not to just burn burn stuff down, tear stuff up. Nothing got burned in here, by the way, but you know what I mean. But anyway, um, that's it. There you go. That's what's happening. 